Okay, based on what I've seen with the bucket feeder so far, I'm going to make a few modifications tonight. Uh, the first problem that I think I've got is I think these collars stick out too far. I think the chickens are a little bit nervous about having to poke their head all the way down inside here to eat. So I haven't, since this thing's been set up, it doesn't look like the level and it's really changed a whole lot. I mean, you can see there's plenty of feed in there and I think that's about how much I put in there in the first place. Um, the other thing that I think is even with these things being spaced about an inch um, to an inch and a half off the bottom of the bucket, I get the feeling that maybe it's still too high, that the, that the feed is not flowing in well enough. So that one, one of them looked like maybe it had been pecked down a little bit and like there just wasn't enough food flowing into it and maybe that made them lose hope, I'm not sure. But anyway, so I'm going to pull each one of these out. I'm going to cut this collar off about halfway and then I'm also going to pull each one out and I'm going to cut more off of the bottom slot so more feed can flow in easier. Um, the other thing I'll show you just real quick is my, uh, my feed bucket over here. I bought this just the other day. Nothing special, but I picked this up at Tractor Supply. This is a 20 gallon metal bin with a snug fit lid. It's not airtight by any means, but it's a snug lid. It'll keep out varmints at least. Right now it's in the garage, but once I get, once I get the second part of the chicken run built, I'm going to put it out, I'm going to store it out there and I'll put a bungee cord or something on the lid. But anyway, for now, we're going to work on this bucket. Okay, so I've got the first modified elbow here. I cut off just this much of the elbow. I actually was going to cut off this whole portion, but then I decided to make it the smaller one instead. So this actually gives me another option because I can put this collar on if I want and uh, have a shorter neck even yet. <clears throat> so you can see it's compared to the old one, how much shorter it is, about a half an inch or so, three quarter. But also what I did here on the bottom kind of hard to see this change but this was the old flat angle on the bottom for a uniform cut so that would have been like this pipe here uniform cut through and if you look at that let's see if I can set it up somehow basically <clears throat> it used to sit on the bottom of the bucket like that only flat all the way across so I've added this whole wedge this is all extra flow space now I mean it used to sit you know like this right here here was your so it was in the bottom of the bucket like this, basically. So now, by slicing off like I did, I've added a whole lot of extra flow area. And I sliced off towards the center of the bucket, too. So hopefully it'll get more inflow from the main center of the bucket. So I'll go ahead and do these other three, or other two, I should say, and uh, refill this bucket and uh, put it back out there. And hopefully, hopefully this will work better. So I don't know if you guys can really tell or not from this perception, but... With that bigger slot that I've cut in the back, that feed now is sloping down towards the front. So it definitely is wanting to flow uh, into the feeder pockets. So now it's just a matter of whether or not the chickens are comfortable with sticking their necks in these holes. Again, I think I think the Americanas have long enough necks to do it because they're the bigger birds. And the other ones certainly will have long enough necks once they get bigger. Um, but we'll just have to see. So I'm gonna go get it put out there now. And we'll just kind of watch it and uh, certainly if it works in the coming weeks or so I'll keep an eye on it and I'll let you all know and uh, if it doesn't I'm sure I'll be making another video on further modifications